Hello guys and gals, and this is a product review for um this huge plush dragon I bought at Walmart. I'm not kidding, I usually do reviews of food products, but um I don't know, I really like this dragon. Um from this side, um it might not look very impressive, but um it's huge for some reason. As you know, this lap desk is, I don't know what the dimensions are of my lap desk that I usually use, but as you can see, it takes up all of my lap desk. And, um, I'm not even sure if it's in focus. It's just a color pattern here. It's really soft. Um, I don't know what even the um, brand name is or anything like that, because, um, I don't know. The tag just says made in China and stuff, and there's a barcode, so I can't really say much about it, but, um, on the internet, I found something that was similar called, um, well, I'll find it. Just give me a sec. Okay. Find Chrome. Except this one was for a purple one that was more metallic. Um, same price, so I figure it's the same thing. Um... Okay, Google. Come on. Okay. Way to celebrate plush metallic dragon. Except this is the purple one. And I think it's the same thing. Except this one's green. Metallic dragon plush. Roaring with excitement. The super shiny dragon plush is made. Uh... Oh, check website for more information. I think that this is it. It's the same price, and so um, I figure it's the same. I don't know. It's something similar anyways. The scale pattern is different, though, and this one is more fluffy. That's probably more of a dragon. This is more of a fur dragon, I think, like the Pete's Dragon remake. They made him a fur, a fur dragon to be more cuddly, but I don't think people like that too much. Personally, I loved it. I, lo I love fur dragons. Um, it's a nice little take... Nice little blend between furry animals and dragons. But anyways, let's uh, turn this guy around. Ugh, there we go. But the feet look... Well, no, that doesn't look like it has, had hooves. As you can see, little feet here. Metallic chest. And the the, the um, texture here is slightly different. Um, not quite as soft as, say, the head, which is massive. Nostrils... And little scales above the eyes. I don't know. That isn't really a feature you see on very many dragons these days. The um, scales above the eyes. The um, frills, I think they're called. But anyways, also, what's really impressive is... Um, over a little bit. Um, if you look under the wings, they're really well made. Um, as you can see... Um, the netting here is only on this side, the shiny netting anyways, because on the other side it is um, the same color as uh, the rest of the body. Um, as you can see, it's um, all scaly, um, or has the, the, the slick, shiny ma material down here, and even the uh, feet are really Really well detailed, I think. I don't know. This was worth a lot more than ten dollars, at least in my opinion. I like the color scheme too. I mean, the purple one is cool, but um, this one is really neat too. This was the only one they had when I went to um, Walmart today, and uh, I just decided to buy it because I really like the way it looked. It's hard to find a really good quality dragon plush these days. Except from like um, name brands like um, Spyro here through, through um, Finny or whatever this is. Finny, yeah. This is a high quality Dragon Plush too. Small, but it's uh, from Finny. I bought it from Walmart and it was actually one of them that was actually in a bag. Usually they don't come in a bag like that. I should probably just open it, but. Uh. Tail is a little short, but you can't really complain. It, it's it's really a high quality plush. Plus plus um the um the uh, I really like the frills over the eyes. That that's really really neat. 
Um, I wonder if those are there in lieu of horns. Some dragons have horns, some don't. Um, anyways. I... But yeah, this is really quality work, too. Um, the seams are really nice and tight, looks like. Um, it's really, really soft. It's a very, very soft dragon. And even the shiny parts. Um, uh, let's see. Flip them over again. Even the shiny parts are really, really soft. And the seams seem to be really well made. But also, there's a lot of stuffing in here. Um, but yeah, um, plus they, um, distinct, they distinguish the front paws here, the front feet, claws, from the back. As you can see, uh... The back feet are wide, have wide uh, toes. These are more webbed, the front. Uh, yeah, these are like um, duck build, um, uh, like duck feet. R really, really cool. I like that. I like that attention to detail. It could have just um, done the done it done the same for everything, but they went with a, uh, I think, a better route. Very, very nice. Um, it's got not, lots of stuffing in it, and I'm not exactly sure how big this is from nose to tail. Um, I can't find my measuring tape, so I don't exactly know what the dimensions are of this, but um, as you can see, um, this is the lap desk that I usually use, and it holds two pieces of paper, 8.5 by 11, across. And it's this thing. This dragon is a lot, lot bigger than than two sheets of paper. I know because when I do my um, writing challenge, I'll set two pieces of paper side by side, and it will take up exactly the the sign the the lap desk. So you can go by that. Also, um, different note. Ugh. We have blue here, Jurassic Park. This was a big. This was a big plush too, um, but the dragon is still bigger. I don't know. But uh, oh well, wait. Maybe it says on this dragon plush how big it is. Um, eh, for all ages, it doesn't. I was going to look, but uh, I don't know. That one it doesn't say. Um, but yeah. Overall, um, I think this is really nice, really neat. Um, I like the colors. The color is a lot like camouflage. And, you know, basically, in my opinion, if um, dragons were still alive today, they'd probably ha have camouflage a lot like this. Or be chameleon-like. Because, um, I mean, to be reasonable, um, if anyone found out that dragons actually existed, then they'd probably want to dissect them or something, you know? And so, you know, some people are like that. But anyways, uh, yeah. Overall, I think this is a wonderful purchase. Um, but yeah, I guess I review more than just food now. Okay, speaking of food, I still have um, these mixed nuts here to do a product review of. And this um, trail mix. Sweet and salty mix. I thought for a minute there it said milk, but it says mix. I must be up way too late. I can't read when I'm this tired. Anyways, um, but yeah. I'll be going through and um, doing product reviews again. Except I'm all caught up for this week, so these will go up next week. It's only Wednesday, February 3rd, maybe? Yeah, February 3rd at 12.45 p.m. Well, a.m. actually. It's in the morning. I haven't slept yet. No wonder I'm tired. And yet I'm doing videos. Anyways. But yeah, when I looked on the website, they said they were sold out. So, um, I don't know. You might still be able to find these in stores, though. This was... Let me find the tag again. Oh, here you go, guy. Here you go. Right here. Oh, yeah, it is Celebrate. How to Celebrate. 
A way to celebrate. Yeah, okay. I see now. Yeah, th this is the same dragon. 998, so it's 10 something plus tax. Um, I think here, around here it's 8 cents to every dollar. So it would be about 80 cents. So, um, around 11 dollars. I can't do that kind of math when I'm tired. But yeah, I, I, I do. I like the feed especially because they're different. Um, they could have gone with the same feed. Uh, I, I love the wings, how they're, um, and the webbing isn't all the way through. This is more realistic. As you can see, the shiny webbing is only on one side. The front side makes sense. Um, the attention to detail is really nice. The only thing, I'm not going to fault this. I'm not going to fault this. Um, the only thing that I would have done is, um, and maybe they couldn't, and I fully agree, because I don't know how they got the stuffing in here. But, um, come here. Ugh. I probably would have um, put um, maybe some ridges along the belly. That's the only thing that I would have done different. Otherwise, it's perfect. And as it is, it's perfect. I'm not even complaining about not not having ridges here. Um, kind of like... Oh, come here. Usually dragons have um, a kind of ridged belly. Just, I think it's just to indicate scales. I'm not sure. But um, this is perfect. I think that they did a wonderful job on this. I never com actually complained about that. Because this is good work. And it was inexpensive. But yeah, high quality. So I highly recommend this this product. Um, but yeah, um, but I mean, uh, but yeah, I, I I like the pattern here, the color. Um, I know the the one I showed you that was on the website was purple, I believe. And um, so yeah, um, wait, let me look at one last thing. Can I turn on the light just for a second? Um, let me see if I can remember how to do that. I probably can't. I I don't remember. How, oh, can I go brightness? Okay, well that work. Yep, the eyes are even really, really, really good. Yep, I really like this product. Anyways, that's just my opinion, though. You can either take my opinion or leave it. It's up to you. Either way is fine. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I upload. And if you want to support me in any way, all that information will be in the description below. And um, this guy is, in my future videos, when I actually bother setting up. I haven't been bothering setting up because it takes a, it takes a while. I have the um, but the pins over there from Mechie. I usually set those up as a backdrop. And I'll be putting the dragon... It looks like I can probably put the dragon right there like that. And um, maybe prop the head up a little bit. Like that. And I think put the backdrop there. That will be awesome. That will be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, but that's for a future video. And I'm done with all my videos this week except for one. So uh, that's good. Anyways, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.